At the beginning of this year, the IT at the Tuberg Academy, like at many other universities, was paralyzed by a hack. At the entire university? No. A small number of scientists at the Institute for Computer Science vehemently defend themselves in try to make teaching materials and education available in an open, interactive, collaborative, sustainable, and interruptible and, above all, free of charge way. In the following lecture we would like to show you ways and technologies that can already be used. For this today, we are Sebastian Zug, Professorship for Software Technology and Robotics, and Andre Dietrich, developer of LIA Script. Current Concepts for Digital Learning Management Systems LMS, Opal, Moodle, ILIAS, etc. represent a classic single point of failure, if the central server fails. Many existential questions suddenly arise. Dot, dot. We need representation formats for teaching and learning content that enable decentralized transfer, change, and publication. We originally started developing LIA script so that we could create online courses ourselves for various teaching content. LIA script is based on Markdown, a simple markup language for static content, as shown below. The syntax is kept very simple and Markdown text can be written with any text editor. We've tried to extend the text format around Markdown so that it's just as understandable and simple, but still meets today's needs. An advantage for us is that one and the same course can be consumed in different formats. If you click on the presentation mode icon at the top, you can choose between textbook, presentation and slide formats. In other words, a text document can either be used as a book or interactive presentation for self-study. Or we only use the slide mode in our presentations. And yes, most browsers have a text-to-speech engine that can be used to read comments and dialogues. First, the paragraph appears on one line only. followed by the enumeration. Tables are analyzed internally to see if they represent a possible data set that can be visualized in different formats and interactively. External sources can also be embedded if possible. Two question marks in front of a link tell Lea script to try everything that is possible to display the content in the document. Quizzes are self-explanatory too, we hope. The film that I saw that night wasn't very good. It was all funky a man funky built a time machine so hey funky tra- The film that I saw that night wasn't very good. It was all about a man who built a time machine so hey called travel back in time. It took him ages and ages to build the machine. We originally wanted better and more interactive programming courses. In order to be able to integrate the required additional functionality, we have created a macro system that can be used to import the functions of one document into another. It should be noted that everything that it begins with A is usually an internal LIA script command. The libraries are loaded in the header of a course. Taking the code snippets as an example, we can make them interactive and collaborative by simply attaching a macro. But code snippets don't just have to be used for programming. You can compose with it using ABC notation.
The same principle can also be used in language teaching in order to analyze the complexity of texts. In addition to spelling in, if necessary, adapt them for different target groups. Lia Script is a pure text description of teaching content. ChatGPT is an artificial intelligence that generates texts. Can ChatGPT also be used to create online courses for various topics in Lia Script? The answer is yes. Dr. Anisha Bakaria, the main person responsible for the development and implementation of learning analytics initiatives at the University of Queensland, Australia, surprised us with how to teach ChatGPT Lia Script syntax. A request for a specific teaching content not only provides an explanatory text as a result, but also an interactive Lia script course with quizzes. Here is the link to the interactive tool to try it yourself. How long will your platform exist? Anyone who laughs at this meme should now sit up and take notice. The average lifespan of a website today is 2 years and 7 months according to Forbes and 100 days. According to IPFS, I trust Google. YouTube has been around for over 20 years. Everything in my office 365 cloud. No one can guarantee that such giants and other small providers won't come back into the light at some point. Anyone know Yahoo? Yahoo shut down the GeoCities hosting service in 2009 removing an estimated 38 million user-generated pages. A study with the interesting name, Address Not Found, shows that about half of the e-learning projects funded in Germany up to 2009 can no longer be reached. The sad conclusion of the report is that if the funds and the employees go, then the content will be lost shortly afterwards if there are no corresponding concepts for sustainable use. When a cell dies, all of its information is lost with it. If the content is copied and stored in different locations, the information is more likely to be preserved. Git is a version management system that already works decentralized and offline per se. Every Git project residing locally on any disk is a complete copy of all versions of a project. The picture shows a version tree with different development strands on which code or LIA script. Courses can be developed in parallel. Each point represents a development status of a version of a project and each version can also be restored. The advantage of this is that different development strands can be brought together again, even from other projects. GitHub, GitLab and GOGS are Git platforms, with the latter two providing free, open-source servers to host yourself. Few people know that Git even as a version management system, it can also be used as a web server. The Interplanetary File System or IPFS is also a peer-to-peer -peer network and can be viewed as a distributed Dropbox or database. Instead of names, each file is assigned a hash value, which is essentially a fingerprint. If the same file is shared by someone else via IPFS, it will get the same hash value, even if the name is different. The advantages are obvious. If a peer fails, the data can still be obtained, even with very fragile internet connections with disconnections. And that the project is slowly but surely arriving in the mainstream can be seen from the fact that the Brave browser and Opera support both HTTP and HTTPSNOW also IPF SAND as a protocol and also allow content to be shared directly via the browser. LIA script courses can also be transmitted via IPFS, IPNS. The Beaker browser was different. Unfortunately, recently discontinued. It was a peer-to-peer -peer browser that allowed complete web pages to be created directly in the browser. Or Lia Script Markdown Projects. A unique URL was created for each project in the form of a large random number. Instead of accessing the content via the HTTPOR protocol, it could be accessed via the protocol. If the browser was off or offline, the data could no longer be accessed. But any other Beaker browser that had accessed the content was able to share it again. HTTPS Hyper. Even videos are changed the language completely. Первоначально создан в 2004 году Джоном Грубером, Англ, Джон Грубер и Ароном Шварцем. The Tor network is a system that allows users to anonymize their online activity and identity by 
routing traffic through multiple servers to hide the source of the data. The network consists of thousands of volunteer servers around the world that act as nodes and encrypt traffic to protect user privacy. Why would something like Tor even be relevant in education? If you look at the world map, it quickly becomes clear that the internet is not as free and open as it might seem from Germany. In this map, we deliberately left out China and North Korea to give the other countries the opportunity to go red, as well. If you look at the current situation in Afghanistan, it becomes clear that the right to education simply does not exist in many places. While China is helping Afghanistan to expand the 4G network, most of the population still does not have internet access. But surveillance and filtering are also being stepped up in the same way. Only about 50% of the world's population has access to the internet at all. Bandwidth, network crashes and a lack of technology are another hurdle. Can the internet also exist offline? The answer is yes. In Cuba, for example, there is the El Paquete Seminole, a data packet of the latest films, series, newspapers and programs is compiled and distributed weekly. Lea script content can thus be transported without any problems. Educational platforms where every click and every test result has to be checked by a server can hardly be established in this way. This brings us to the next question. Can websites also work offline? A progressive web app, PWA, that uses offline first design principles is designed to work without an internet connection by caching files like CSS and JavaScript on the user's device. The PWA can load quickly even when there is no internet connection. Using IndexedDB, an in-browser database, data and content can be stored offline and synchronized later when an internet connection is available. This enables a seamless user experience even when the internet connection is unstable. A browser is no longer just a tool for viewing HTML pages. Browsers today have a variety of operating system functionalities and even allow access to hardware. The LeaScript website is also a PWA. Servers are still needed to enable communication between users of a platform. 
The biggest hurdles are that users have to be able to find each other and the messages. The message streams have to be synchronized. However, we have heard that browsers are able to establish direct communication with each other using WebRTC and for synchronization in distributed systems. There are now new data types, so-called conflict-free replicated data types, CRDTs, which can guarantee consistency even without a central server or a main peer. In LIA script, we use YJS CRDTs as a general data structure for messaging. These can be exchanged via a wide variety of platforms and networks. Other services are better suited for videos and audio. With LIA script, try to provide the same functionality on all communication channels. Therefore only the following elements are synchronized. Classroom light means data is only synced between browsers. A classroom only exists as long as there are users in that room. All users are anonymous. If a user leaves the room, they take their quiz results and surveys with them. If all users leave the room, all data will be forgotten. Here is a small demo. At that time there was no possibility of collaborative editing and the chat did not exist either.
let's assume our original situation, in which a Moodle server stores all teaching content, user data, versions, etc., and coordinates all access and communication between users. This server can go offline, be hacked, access to it blocked, and data breaches can always happen. With Leah script, we first tried to take the teaching content out of the LMS. Furthermore, it is possible to use content in different systems and it can be edited. Further developed, translated in parallel or cooperatively by several authors at the same time. Another advantage lies in the redundant storage and various distribution options. Web, app, IPFS, Tor, Moodle, etc. of teaching content. In the second step, typical platform activities were removed. This means that learners can also consume teaching content offline. Courses are cached locally in the browser. Status information on quizzes. Surveys, programming tasks are stored and checked within the browser. In order to enable classrooms and thus collaboration and the exchange of information between different users, a central server is also no longer required. This service can be adopted by multiple servers or platforms. On the one hand, the entire communication can be realized. On the other hand, they are only used as an entry point and only serve to establish contact. Finding peers. Dot. After that, users' browsers can also communicate directly and in real time using WebRTC. Without a server that is responsible for synchronizing the information, CRDTs can be used for this. We can go round in circles forever. Dot. Dot. The platform is dead. Long live the platform. Dot. Dot. Or we use the chances and possibilities that a decentralized network and thus decentralized technologies give us to teach and educate in a digital world in a sustainable way and unblockable to be transported to the most remote corners of the planet. Dot. 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 I am the spirit that always denies. And rightly so, because everything that comes into being centrally is worth dying. Mephisto.